Hey everyone, and welcome back to Bico SMP Season 2. Uh, last episode, we did a bit of building. Uh, we've got a big mountain with our steampunk docks here. Um, so, we aren't going to be building anything in the base today. Because today, we're going to be building the first shop on the server, and we're going to we're gonna be building a honey shop to sell the honey from our honey farm. Because I have a honey farm now, so might as well sell it. And I I think, excluding Zach's shop, I think this is the first shop in the server. Just because Zach isn't actually in the shopping district, which I need to talk to him about. Um, but yeah, let's get going. So we're going to make our shop right here on top. Right up on the mountain here, and you can see I've already started kind of digging out a bit. And here is all the resources I have for it. So we've got a lot of leaves. You want to know why we have so many leaves? Because we're building a tree. The only big, big tree with the beehive on it, because that makes sense. So let's build that, and we have a little bit of redstone for the entrance. Um, nothing fancy, but it's me, so don't expect magic. I'm not good at redstone. But yeah, we've got all of our resources, so let's get building the tree. So over the course of the past week or so, I have been slowly just AFKing here uh, and getting a whole bunch of stock for the shop. So I've been slowly stocking up. So uh, I've got a whole bunch of stuff in here. Uh, the honeycomb, easy. I'm getting heaps of honeycomb from this, but the honey blocks are still very expensive. So I am going to have to make a better farm at some point um, if we're going to properly stock this place. So yeah, um, just refill with the bottles. I'll probably AFK here overnight again. Um, but yeah, we take this to the shop um, and then we've got important business to attend to. So I suppose first things first, we need to kind of go through the design of the tree a bit. So first we've got this beehive, which I'm going to be honest, not 100% happy with. Probably going to change that a bit. I'm not a massive fan of the red sandstone there. What? Okay, I fell. Um, but we've also got a bit of honey dripping from it and that I do like. Uh, and that's just kind of being suspended from this branch here, which is connected to, you know, the main tree here. Um, so we've got this trunk and it's made like, I think it ended up being about 30% acacia, 60% tough. 30%, um, 70% I should say. Um, and then we've just got a whole bunch of leaves under here. I tried to do some shadows with the spruce leaves. I'm not a massive fan of doing gradients with leaves on trees especially and I need to I actually need to light up in there so mobs don't spawn like we've got a creeper there let's see if I can shoot it I can't um so yeah and we've just got a pretty simple way of getting in this pressure plate opens up piston door and here we have the really lackluster interior uh I'm curious what does this thing look like with shaders really not all that different over the last like week or so I've been just looking around the server with shaders on because I, I don't usually use shaders I'm not a massive fan of using them in videos but I don't know I like just every so often looking at the builds around the server um with shaders on so we'll turn them back off and yeah we need to stock up uh oh god people have been buying oh oh no I was kind of hoping this wouldn't happen straight away um yeah <laughs> I mean don't get me wrong, I'm glad people are buying, but I don't want to have to keep restocking. Um, has the honeycomb sold? No, no. Yes, a little bit. Um, the honeycomb I'm getting stocked up pretty well. It's the honey blocks that are the issue. I wonder who it was that bought the honey blocks. I'm guessing Paper, just because she's been doing a lot of redstone stuff. Oh, I love this extended render distance, um, because I, I finally sorted out the lag issue. Um... For some reason, I, I thought I did, but I, I apparently didn't. I didn't have any 
form of performance mode installed. I don't know why. I kind of got rid of Optifine because it was really buggy on 1.20 for some reason. Um, and yeah, I just forgot to download a new one. Uh, so we've got Sodium installed now. So that bring that gives us the, the fancy video settings menu, which I'm not a massive fan of, to be honest. I, I like Minecraft menus, but it's fine. It's fine. Um, it's... It's a fine price to pay. Forgot I had the Lightmatica rendering on. That's been turned off. Um, but what we need to do is we've got this shop set up now, but we don't have any form of registration done for it. So what I've done off camera... Uh, oh, sorry, I can't remember if I've shown this yet. I changed the signs for the protesters um, and then waxed them. So I, I found out it was Alexa, I think, in the end. Uh, so he can't change them back. Um, but we're just going to take one of these book and quills and we're going to register the tree. We can see the tree for here. I really, I really like that. Um, I've written down everything on Discord, what people need to fill out. So it's pretty simple what we've got here. We've just got first question, what is the name of the shop? Second question, what are we selling? And third question, whose shop it is. Um, so we're calling it The Hive. I, I think I like that name. I don't know. I've thought about it for ages and I just can't really think of something that's great. Um, oh, hang on. There we go. I forgot pressing escape would kind of take us out and delete everything. So we're going to sign it and we're going to call it the name of the shop because of the way I'm going to organize these later in the season. Uh, so we've got the registration form filled out and we're just going to put it in here for now. Um, I'm going to sort out registration because we are going to be building the tax office soon because uh, no one's jumped at that. Yeah, because no one's jumped at building the tax office so we're gonna to have to build it ourselves I think um, and yeah we're just gonna have all the books in there and also that's where we're gonna pay taxes uh, probably gonna move the stuff from the end there as well um, but yeah so what do we still have so Zach has taken the election hall papers taken the end portal what is left now there's the trading hall the tax office and the post office so the tax office uh, where did I say that was gonna be seven five six Okay, so it's just here where the tax office is going to be. Um, so yeah, we're probably going to be building that at some point. I'm going to take this book because I'm going to build it. Um, and yeah, so that's that done. One thing I also want to do quickly is first, first of all get some rockets out. Um, I'm going to put profit diamonds here for now just because we need to sort out the whole taxation system. Um, but what I need to do... <coughs> Because I mentioned last episode I wasn't entirely happy with this building. Um, and I've done a little bit of creative designing and I've worked out how I'm going to fix it. So I just need to get some andesite and diorite quickly. And we're just going to quickly tidy that up a little bit. So I've got what I need. So we're just going to go over here quickly. And we're just going to come down here. Um, and we're just going to add a bit more shadow just to make it look a bit more distinct, I think. Um, just because adds of this second oh I need to be really careful with that um, with the snow this is what you get for building out of snow it's hard to kind of take down so that needed to be like that but we want andesite here I think I think this is where it was in the design I don't know I'm just going off memory here I did design something but I don't know I think I'd rather just try to do this bit off memory I think that's what we did was that it yeah, no, that gives it a lot more shadow. And we're also going to come up in these top bits and put an andesite in just these corners here. I think that's going to add just a bit more contrast and it's going to look nice. Uh, same with here. We need to add some andesite under the shadowy bit. This is very much about working out where the dark patches are. And this is what I love with building, kind of working out the lighting of things. Um, so we're going to... See if we can fly. I I cannot fly for the life of me, I swear. Um, and we're gonna actually I might even do that. Just to make it look a bit asymmetrical. Yeah, I think that that makes it look a bit better. Just because it adds a bit more contrast. Same here as well. Let's see if I can do this without dying. Ooh, we've got the got the jump boost off the taking damage always funny when that happens. Um and there we go, I think that should be fixed now. 
Yeah, no, I'm I'm happy with that. The roof, though. The roof I'm still not 100% happy with. And I think what I'm going to do eventually is have another building kind of coming... Well, the building's going to be up here, and then I'm going to have a part of it coming down here. I think that'll look good. I don't know, I'm having... I'm having some really... I'm having a really hard time designing this area just because I have a very specific idea of what I want in mind. And I've got... I've actually got majority of the actual base designed already. Uh, the thing is, I'm just kind of working out where I want buildings to go down here um, to play with that line of sight without fully covering the build. Um, and also making sure everything fits in. I did design... So... Originally in today's episode, I was planning on building the Guardian Farm. Uh, that's going to be next episode now. Um, because I had to delay it because the design I have, I really liked what I had, but the problem was it really didn't fit in with the area. It went kind of more um, hydropunk rather than diesel punk or steampunk. Um, but I'm thinking about it. I want to build a Prismarine shop, and I think I might want to reuse the design I had for that maybe or tweak it and use that kind of block palette and style. Um, not the exact build, because that would be weird looking in the shopping district. Um, but yeah, I think that will look really cool. Um, so yeah, I'm just in the process of designing, because we're going to have the majority of the base kind of up here, off in the distance. Um, just because, like I said, this isn't the base. This is the lead up to the base. Because the base is going to be here. Like, it's going to stretch out probably back to here. Um, and it's going to be mainly... Like in this area here. This is kind of just the... Because the thing is, I don't want that to be the main view of the base. I want, like, this angle to be the main view of the base. This is kind of just connecting it to what we've already got built over near the main island. But I think that's actually going to do it for today's episode. Because in the next episode, like I said, we're going to be building the Guardian Farm. And I've also got a few other farms I want to design. Because, like I said, that's kind of going to be, a, like, a pseudo-industrial district. Um... So yeah, we've got the big tree. I also need to work on the foliage up here a bit, because um, I need to smooth it out in some sections like that where you can kind of see it jutting out a bit. Because this is the first time I've built a tree on this scale, so I used a lot of world edit for it. Um, and it turned out really cool, I think, but also I need to tweak some things. So yeah, because I don't, I don't use world edit a lot. I, I especially, well, I... It's, I have a very complicated history with the world edit. I've used it a lot in the past, but not to the same extent as most people. I kind of just used it for the land clearing features if I wanted to dig a big hole really quickly. Um, for example, I downloaded, I think, Infinity SMP Season 3 when I built my rocket shop and we had the fog effect going down. I, used, I downloaded that mainly so I could clear out that land to do that really quickly. Um, and over the years, I've kind of just slowly started using it more and more. And we're at the point now where I'm using it to do large-scale terraforming, like the volcano, um, the mountains over there. Uh, my starter base, I didn't use it for. I did that by hand. For the most part, I did a little bit around smoothing the sand down there, but that's about it. Um, so yeah, use, I'm getting used to the brushes now so yeah uh thank you for watching today's video if you enjoyed it please leave a like and subscribe and all that fun stuff and i'll see you in the next one if you choose to watch